Okay, number 85 on 1 4. They give us the diagram. And what the diagram shows is the person is going to swim along this, dir this direction. Okay? And then they're going to run. Um, so it then runs along the path as shown in the diagram. So they're going to run then this direction. Okay? When you read the problem, they give us the rates of swimming and running, and they give us a total time for swimming and running. So it's going to be a time equation. So it's going to be the time swimming plus the time running equals the total time. Total time was two hours, I believe. Yep, two hours. Each time is the distance over the rate. So the distance that we're going is what they gave us right here. Okay? So our distance here, I wrote that wrong, here we go. Our distance swimming is the square root of 16 plus x squared. Over my rate swimming, um, which is 7 kilometers an hour. My distance running is 16 minus x over my rate running, which is 22 kilometers an hour. And that has to equal my total time of two hours. Okay, so that gives us the general equation there. Um, as I've done before, I'm gonna pause it, solve it out, and um, that way I don't take up too Okay, and we're back. So, when I multiplied by the seven times 22, originally I did it, I forgot to put the 22 and seven in front of these two terms. So we'll be able to follow through then. I multiplied through with the 7, moved everything to one side, and then um, got the square root alone on one side. So I've got 22 square root of 16 plus x squared equals 7x plus 196. Square both sides, you get some really ugly numbers. Simplify it out. You'll end up with your quadratic, which you need to put in the quadratic formula, and that will come to the correct answer. Okay. Pause it for a second. You can look at it.